this is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome back. Welcome to After Hours. I'm still Cami Chaos and we're still joined by Dr. Normal, who's going to introduce our guests. Because that's the new after hours thing. Let's see if he can do it. Hang on a second. I'm still switching down here, and you're way too fast for me. You need to draw this out, and you need to look at the camera. Okay. The crunchy camera. Hi. I'm Cammy. I'm your host for Strange Love Live After Hours. My I... camera is crunchy, and I'm perky. Because that's really the only way I know how to draw things out. Otherwise, I would have to cuss a blue streak. Well, and, you, just, you know, that might be a little early in the show for that. I don't yeah. Know. You I'm just sure. run a really fast thing. Yeah. I run a tight ship. And it ship totally screwed up my new intro. I run a tight ship. You totally. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I had a new intro. Okay. It was like this Good morning, Portland. It's Strange Love Live. You can interact with the show at any time in the chat window. It's not morning, Dr. Normal. I thought by the time we'd get this no, show going, no. it was going to be morning. <laughs> Trust no, me, it actually, was going to be like... <laughs> it's 11.22. It's not morning. Oh, I forgot. This is this is my cam. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was my impression of PDX sucks. You didn't sound anything like Robert. I thought it was good. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! I, that was my... Why don't you introduce our guests? Okie dokie! <laughs> I'll get right on that. Uh, tonight's guests, uh, and here for the hour to, um, answer the questions and hopefully win the Cadillac. It's Jerry, what, what did we say his last name was going to be? <laughs> like a Texan talking about Maca, their car. Maca. <laughs> it's, uh, Jerry Maca <laughs> and Josh Bancroft, and I don't like this intro. Oops, and I. <laughs> hey, I know what that was. I know that screen. You like that? What was that? <laughs> that was um, live stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna give me back the show now, Doctor? Normal? I think. Are you? I think what we're gonna do is uh -huh. we're gonna we're gonna rethink this whole I'm introducing the guests crap. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not your gig. No, unless I do Chris Matthews or Robert Wagner. Well, or... I don't think you did a very good Robert Wagner impression. I don't know. We'll ask him. <laughs> You could do Chris Matthews, but don't don't do Chris Matthews now. Okay. That, so we've got, we've got. I have. This is going to be a, a non-content content. I, I could episode. do Chris Matthews. Not tonight. Okay. Thank you. Are you, are you ready to be done now? <laughs> I'm waiting to switch my camera out, and I'm just we keep talking. This is like our old show where we have guests who sit on the couch <laughs> over here mm -hmm. and watch the banter, and you. Mm -hmm. And me mm -hmm. talk. Yes. And my they neck, watch. My neck is getting a little sore. It's like <laughs> tennis, right? That's it's why like... I'm just keeping an eye on the screen because he's switching. Yeah, I should have watched down there. And, just, yeah. and I'm Ooh. doing this all while talking. Okay, yeah, wait. I'm impressed. <laughs> you're, you're doing very well, though. I have important content free content. Are you ready? Well, I think Jerry has more tattoos please. than any guest that we've had on the show. Normally, I don't get to have guests with tattoos for some reason. Not a lot of tattooed guests on the show. More tattoos on you than any of the guests. For some reason, I don't think it's true. Maybe more. I don't know because I can just see your your lower arms. If there's more, then you might have more than the guests combined. Uh, I have eleven total. These go to eleven. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. I have nine, but one of them covers my entire back. You've got me beat because I don't have the back okay. piece done yet, okay. but I have a chest piece. Yeah, I don't have a chest piece, but I'm contemplating one. All right, that was tattoo talk. With Cammy and Jerry. Yay. No, so what? What's the? No, seriously. Moving on. I want to know. I, I want to know why. I want to know the meaning. Do you have uh, meaning okay. behind your tattoos? See, I'm just a. I'm just. A, I like my tattoos and I get quick. them. Oh, oh now I need a tattoo cam. Yes, oh, a tattoo cam. Tattoo. Where's the helmet cam? Uh, yeah, oh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. The helmet cam. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Here, Josh. Let me. Oh Lord. Let me plug it in for you. All right. Here we go. Can I just say, Doctor Normal's job? Doesn't get any easier. No, no but welcome to my house. Gadgets. <laughs> we like the gadgets. Okay. This is just funny looking. 
You should just keep it on this shot because this is entertaining. Oh no no no! It we have funny. a new shot for you. Wait, wait, wait which which Ooh. number are you guys on? Uh, we're on number three. What is that? Three? Yeah, Helmut oh. Cam number three. I look like three. a Pac-Man ghost. Hang on, I gotta I gotta switch <laughs> in. <laughs> You've been playing ways too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like the Waze car. We gotta switch number three here on the remote. Did you need to switch to yourself so that we could switch to number three? No. Yeah, just, just likes that shot of himself. There we go. Mm. It Look. is. It is flat. Oh, hey. hey, hey, that's my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> You, like you, you, you did all say white. Bancroft wasn't the videographer, right? <laughs> this okay. is why I'm not the cameraman. Wait a but, minute. Josh, you're supposed to be wearing the helmet cam. Whoa. That's a helmet cam yeah, foul. Yeah, but then all they right. might have to get some uncomfortable closeness going well, on. Well, then he can some... say, hey, that's I my... I have to work with this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so where are we at? We've got the naked gangster chick. <laughs> here. Uh, yeah. I'll do this shot. Yeah, I can, uh, you do your own shot. Let me help you out here. Shoot your own crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done shooting your crowd. Don't talk about my Saturday nights. <laughs> That's an ever after uh, an overheard. Jeez, after hours overheard. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> that is your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> For those on the audio stream, Jerry's it? filming his crotch. This. this is all your fault. I can't help it. This is what oh, I do. He's <laughs> filming Josh's crotch. Hey, <laughs> leave my crotch out of this. Oh my word. All right. So which ones are you? Which ones are you interested? <laughs> well, let's with? start with the let's start with the gangster naked. You guys lady. aren't making right. it easy on me. Yeah, but you're having a blast. I can't see everything from here, so <laughs> yeah, I'll just look at the. I'll look over crotches here. Crotches on the helmet. Watch the monitor. If you switch the uh, helmet, watch the crotch oh, Hello, Hi. hello, Ooh. pretty lady. All right, so I'm a I, I, I'm a massive fan of Clockwork Orange. So I just had a friend of mine draw. Up. I'm also a massive fan of girls. Mm -hmm. They're good. So he made a pinup model style thing for me. So let's see that one with the eye. Uh, turn that. No, mm. that okay. one. Yeah, so there you go. That would be Alex from Clockwork Orange, but he's wearing a mask because mm -hmm. Alex is kind of ugly, and I didn't want an ugly face on my arm. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, it's hard operating a camera facing <laughs> towards me. It is. It's See? a whole new. It's a whole new thing. I thought you were a professional. <laughs> I, I, I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, apparently come professionals on, man. are not often asked to turn the camera on themselves on their forearms. <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh. Shouldn't ever be. So, okay, just running through them real quick because I'm good at this. Uh, that's my family crest on my mom's side. Uh, there's my there obligatory... That was my crotch. <laughs> crotch shot. Uh, my obligatory uh, punk rock cox bar up the oh. punks tattoo. For those on the uh, audio podcast, just go for, go to yeah. Blip TV and download yeah, it. Yeah, you if, you're watching, yeah. if, you're, if you're visual. watching the audio podcast... We'll edit this all out for If you, you want to see my crotch, visit Blip TV. Jerry's crotch .tv. All right, oh and then the back... Which is really hard to get. Uh, you need some help getting even, your elbow there. There we go. I don't even know how to do this. This is more funny. Watch, watch more funny. All right, let's see. Yeah. All right. See, you asked, and then you had to hear about it. Oh, see, Dr. Normal switch. I right. did. There we go. So that's my piratey, scurvy bastard fella. Mm -hmm. The compass is because I'm always lost. Mm -hmm. I have my uh, other obligatory bad punk rock tattoo up here. It's my working class tattoo. Mm hmm uh, and then I got flames going up this arm, which I won't show because they're and horrible and bad. Hey, and that's Cammy. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna address Ooh. the ah. camera. Hi, I was gonna address this camera. It's fun when okay. you're talking. Oh, there you there go. we go. See, I look really creepy. Yes, it's like I it's look inverted like an ice the... queen. I, yeah, yes. I'm, I actually really dig the way he that looks. He has more tattoos than the rest of you guests. <laughs> this is the future Work of Intel TV. This is the Blair Witch Cam. <laughs> exactly, it is. Yeah, I'm you gotta gonna, go. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Lord. Oh, wait. I can't. She just did I can't. it. You took my... I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's After Hours. Uh, glad you could join us. We'll be here I never promised next week. that After Hours would have any real content. No. Okay, so I don't we think had to make up for not talking at all in the last segment. So yes. well, why don't you show us your tattoos with the cam there, Cammy? If somebody wants to see Cammy my cam. tattoos, they can buy the Get Naked for a Cause calendar. Uh, there you go. That's that's my standard response usually. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. It's true. Mine too. <laughs> Are you in the Get Naked for a Cause calendar? You'll have to buy it and find out. Ooh. I so. say as my wife sits over there and laughs. <laughs> at He's wow. Mr. November. He's not. I don't remember who November is. He just, oh my god, that rhymed. Oh, sorry. What? I don't remember who November is. Oh, okay. So now. Wasn't that a lot of Mel Torme or somebody? That was issue one. Issue two. Issue two. Who raises chickens? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Chickens. We're talking about chickens. Oh, chickens. Who wants to start? Rachel or Josh? 
Oh. The chickens are Rachel's. Okay, Rachel. I'm just a farmhand. I've tried at, at some point over the last six months. I've tried to figure out how I've gone from the uber geek who lives a high tech lifestyle <laughs> mm-hmm. to a farmhand who takes Chicken care farm. of chickens. How many chickens? We have four hens. Four and hens. I'll, I'll let Rachel take okay, it from hang, here. Hang on. It, it oh. takes a moment for Doctor. Sorry, he has was to I supposed to be vamp- was I supposed to be vamping and letting yeah. him get ready? It, it, yeah. He has okay. to unplug and replug things because I think so. We only chickens are birds. Inputs. They have feathers. Really. And do no they other fly? type of, I, I don't know. Do. Yes. They do, yes. Do. Oh, yeah. They, uh, no, other, no other animals have birds. There she is. I mean, have feathers. No other animals have feathers. It's true. Rachel, tell us about your chickens. <laughs> we love our chickens. We have four buff Orpington chickens. Those are the big brown ones. Mm-hmm. Fluffy butts. They're so yeah, we cute. call them fluffy butts. <laughs> they, they're now like 22 weeks old, mm-hmm. and we just got eggs last week, they which is very playing. exciting for our six-year-old. That's her, her big job. Check for eggs. What are the chickens' yes. names? Ah. Well, each of everybody in our family, <laughs> everybody in our family got to name one. Mm-hmm. So Josh named his. No, no, no. Start with yours. Oh, mine. And with Emma's. Oh, mine is Lulu. Lulu. Which is short for Lucy. My grandma. You <laughs> named the chicken after your. <laughs> after grandma. my grandma, like, well, we're not gonna have more okay. kids, so I might as well, like, you know, exactly. name my pet. After exactly. My grandma. Just don't eat the chicken. And <laughs> exactly. <fine. laughs> um, Josh named his Esmeralda Valentine. I wanted an appropriately fluffy chicken feminine name. Uh-huh. That is a very fluffy chicken name. Esmeralda yeah. Valentine. Emma named hers Sunshine Marigold, and she loves her Is your daughter sunshine. a hippie? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, a, geek, a she, geeky hippie. She's the hippie, I'm the geek. I okay. don't know what our That's kids are. That's how we ended up with chickens. We I married understand. a hippie. I understand. Yeah, hence the Birkenstocks. And, and what's Gabe's name? And Gabe's chicken is called Monster Truck. Monster <laughs> Truck! I didn't know that. I like you that. didn't know that? Seriously. No. <laughs> well, the day, like the day we were talking about naming him, he, that was, that's what he was interested in that day. That's so. all he could talk about. He's is three? That he's just turned he three. Just he turned, was yeah. two at the yeah. time. Yeah. That's and that's all, he was in one of those phases where he slept with his monster truck toy, he mm-hmm. bathed with it, and so we had to name his chicken monster truck. Yeah. yeah, my friend's son names everything after, what's that, Thomas. It names everything Thomas or one of the other trains from the, I understand. Henry and all this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so those are our chickens. And Lulu's at the top of the pecking order. She's bossy. She's a bossy. Yeah. yeah. She is mean and yeah. rude to the she's other chickens. She's been biting me. <laughs> So you've had you've gotten six eggs now, uh-huh. and you're saving them family breakfast this yes. weekend. Yes, exactly. Yeah, probably we tomorrow want morning to we'll fa- cook them up, and we're going to do like side by side comparison, like mm-hmm. the store bought eggs where you pay, what is it, you know, two dollars for a dozen, and then these eggs, which if you amortize the cost of six <laughs> eggs over what we spent on building the coop and the run <laughs> and feed and everything the else, the most expensive eggs in the world. Yes. These six <laughs> eggs that we're going to eat, I figure, cost probably about a hundred bucks pop. <laughs> But the so more they better eggs you be get, good. the more eggs you get, they will be. Yeah. So they, we'll get to the having point where been we're... raised eating um, backyard chicken eggs. It's they will it. be very. I good. look forward oh, to the day. Oh, okay. I look forward to the day when well, the cost is down on to what you feed them, but... ten bucks a pop <laughs> yeah. for eggs. What do you feed the chickens? Well, we have the regular lay, you know, like layer feed, but we give them lots of treats. Okay. Scraps, veggies, scraps. scraps. They love spaghetti. cheese. Every once in a while we give them cheese. They love spaghetti. We used, spaghetti. To, they think we used to give worms. them worms. We'd find worms in the backyard and yeah. give them to them when they were chicks. And they would just go nuts and fight over them and everything. And we discovered, and it was very entertaining, and we'd shoot video of it. It was great. And we discovered that you can get the same entertainment value just by giving them spaghetti, cooked yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. yeah, and much, much easier on you. Yeah. Yes. So so I heard that... Dr. Normal is a chicken hater. I heard... No. I like eggs and eating chickens. I love chickens. Yeah. <laughs> chickens like are chickens tasty. Yeah. I love the chickens. They're our um, girls. But I heard that whatever the chicken eats is what the eggs taste like. Yeah. Like if you give them garlic or fish, mm-hmm. like the, any like really strong Chickens flavor. eat but fish? Yes. I think I've heard chickens that. Chickens eat anything. anything. Yeah. They're like scavengers. They will eat anything. Yeah. Birds are not as picky. Birds so we are basically, not as picky. We basically give them anything that's not chicken. Yeah. Like tea, right? We don't give you them don't eggs. Want we don't give them chicken. You don't want cannibal. It's just, just kind of weird. Me. I just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then you get into that whole My weird. brother always wanted to feed the chickens chicken. And no. It always disturbed it's, me. I don't. Yeah. I don't think they care, but... Hey, we, we've learned we've learned from science that you don't feed 
the same feed. You don't, you don't feed cows, cows. You don't exactly. feed people, people. And you, you don't feed chickens, chickens. Various, uh, science. various <laughs> scientific <laughs> problems there called goes. prions. And prions are not good for your brain. Thank you, science doctor. Norman, wow. Sir. <laughs> this has wow. been Science Friday. <laughs> You didn't With know that. We're, we're turning to. this into Science Friday. Okay, I issue three. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, cool, yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> issue three. You're gonna, are you going to hashtag that? Hold on. Wait, no, no i got to get the right... You, camera one. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Anyway. There you go. Okay, that I want... It looks vaguely familiar to me for some reason. I want, I want in-depth information... About my Timbers Army scarf. Okay. And about the Timbers Army. I, I want will, information. I will do what I can. Timbers, it's football. Football. Football, people. Not soccer. It's football. Thank you. Get it straight. <laughs> I don't know if I had the right camera or not. You so, did for a while. For a while. <laughs> until, <laughs> until I was boring and Dr. Arnold was like, no more camera for you, <sighs> camera hog. So, uh, how long ago was it? About, about a month ago, maybe. I went to not only my first ever Timbers game, but my mm-hmm. first ever soccer game. I don't like sports. I am not a sports person. I had such a great time. I will go back. I will go to another Timbers game. That's a wonderful I atmosphere. will go to an. I love oh, soccer. The, I love that. Good. Because I went and I could pay attention to the entire thing. Mm-hmm. It, even though there was no score, it was nil. No one made a single freaking goal. But I had a good time the entire time. My seven-year-old enjoyed the entire thing. She was able to pay attention with her little binoculars. <laughs> the entire family had a good time. Everyone was yelling and screaming and no pity. And it was, like, violent and awesome. Was that violent? <laughs> no, no, the game wasn't violent, the fans. But they, but they weren't. weren't I mean, it, violent. No, no violent. they weren't. They were verbally violent. No, no, no. And Just they had no pity for the other team. None. It was excellent. No. Yeah, spe- so how did you, when did you Wait start? Sp- specifically, you asked Sean Levy, you said, so how rowdy does the Timbers Army No, what get? I said like, was, I'd like to take Kay to the Timbers right, game. Right, right. And he said, is she used to profanity? <laughs> <laughs> She's around dad all the time. And I said. She's she knows, in the car with dad all the time. I said, she knows not to cuss at school. And he said, oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's always like. Um, what I just said there in the car. Don't, don't say ever that say that school. again. Yeah. Oh, there's the stadium language and, and home language. That's what I. That's exactly like verbatim what I said. Stadium <laughs> language is like car language, and we don't use it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Unless you're a two-year-old and you're forgetting what your parents said. Not that that's ever happened. No. So, uh, every bad word our kids know. I was not the one who taught them. You didn't teach them that. Oh, you! Whoa! I don't know how that. I don't know how that. Swearing. I don't know how that worked, but. (laughs) Flippity jibbit. Hey. Sailor mouth. Worse. (laughs) When driving. No, that's not true. I'll be honest. I have a much worse. You do. Yeah. I call my mom the c word. So. Oh my! Whoa! 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 (laughs) That's the one word that I use maybe twice a year, maybe twice a year, and and the person has to really deserve it for me to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry just had a party foul. (laughs) See you next (laughs) Tuesday. Called mom the c word. (laughs) Um, Destined for prison. Well, it was quite the shock when I started working for Intel and had to start tempering my language. It's it's like a whole different world for me. Yeah, you can't use the as we call them potty Potty words. Um, in that corporate environment. Yeah, no, no, not so much. It's not. Uh, that would be a good idea. No, no, it's not. Save it's it not. for the but, conference room. But I was talking about. No, no, I could resist. Oh, I was Lord. talking about football. Damn it! Sorry. Yes. Let's talk about football now. American football, I hate. Oh, it's boring. I think as it's hell. the dumbest thing on the planet. They and run five yards, they fall over, they argue. I don't know. They I've never. I've never shit. watched an entire. It. Football. So let, let's talk about the, the Timbers. The Army. Ducks just started throwing punches in live. Oh, that's injured. true. They did. There's was that what happened over the weekend? I, yeah. I, I, only, I, only know through, I only know through Twitter because yeah. I, I follow I'm not Twitter. A fan <laughs> but there was a Timbers game the same night that there was a Ducks game, yep, and so I got night. all confused, and I was just like, "Wait, who is tweeting about what? Stop! Just stop!" Hey, baby. If you Hashtag it, your tweets. And then when you're following Twitter, pound RCTID is always Timber stuff. Art RCTID. Say that on here. And what? And what does that mean? No, it does not. Although I always. Surprised. Uh, RCTID stands for Roasted Until I Die. I I need hashtags on my scarf. 
Mm-hmm. I think that would make it a lot easier for me. Do you know other sport I like? Mm. Roller derby. Uh, Football and roller derby. Roller yeah. derby came back. It made a, it made a hell of a... Oh, it's coming back. Do you time. know that they're having men's roller derby now? I saw that. Merby is what they're calling oh, it. Good Lord. That's a creepy word, right? It is a creepy word. <laughs> I don't think I can say it more than once. That's I the prefer- first time I've actually said it out loud. I've read it, and I've been like... It's too close to pervy. It just doesn't work for it's me. It's not a good word. No. It's just... Oh. I don't but know. It reminds me of Furby, which is oh, <laughs> bad. That's my problem with it. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, not. Okay, so wait, no, seriously. But women's Flat Track Derby is awesome. Association. That Shout was out exciting. To the Rose City Rollers. So no, I went to my mm-hmm. first ever derby game. Mm. Same summer, I went to my first ever football game, and my friend's wife uh, is a derby girl, and she was in, she wasn't in, in the game, and so. She gave me like all the information I could ever need as I was watching the game, and it was awesome because it's really complicated and there are a ton of rules. So many rules, in fact, that when you get your pamphlet or what do they call those? Program. Program. Thank you. When you get your program, they have all the rules and all of the uh, calls. Your bulletin. No, does it's it have a program. the hymns in it? It's a program. Oh, no. Never mind. I'm making. He had the right word. You are not allowed to English things. And I mentioned that they had a really cool live stream. No. At the. uh... We're not promoting us. I'm talking about sports that I actually like. (laughs) Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm now. I'm going to ask Jerry a question. Are you prepared for that? (laughs) Oh. uh, Oh God. Yes. The question is if I'm prepared. Otherwise, I'm getting the helmet cams out again. As a as a as a football fan, did you ever play? Uh, I played a little bit when I was still. I'm from Reno originally, mm-hmm. and uh, I'd play and pick up games down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had family and friends that were into the sport, so I kind of watched it. But it was kind of off and on. It was really hard to follow. Like, yeah, I'm a big fan of West Ham. Is my English Premier team that I follow. I followed for about 15 years, but it was really hard to follow them in Reno because they're in England, and no one in Reno gave a yeah. damn about any sort of soccer unless it was like the Mexican leagues, mm-hmm. which I appreciate, but I just didn't ever really follow that much. So I moved up to Portland and, and found out that they had a team. In two, like I moved up in 2004 and ended up at one of the matches just randomly. I was like, oh, you want to go see a footy match? Oh, yeah, totally. Let's go check it out. And ever since then, it's just been a diehard fan. Just loved it. Loved the crowd. Timbers Army Till I Die. Is that what it is? Uh, Rose Wait, City Till Rose I Die. Rose City Till I Die. Yeah, so I, I was I'm, a big fan I'm of the Timbers Army. But the team itself, I was just the, the first game I ever went to, they won... Six to one. Actually, one of the goals got called back, so it was five to one. Wow! I can still remember like That's every a big single score thing that happened. In soccer, oh, it, was, it was huge, and I was just like, "Holy crap! This is amazing!" And then the crowd at that time was really—I mean, it was good size, but it was small compared to now. What you guys saw was mm-hmm. is. I think that was new. the largest game of the or the largest crowd of the well, season. Was last night sold out? No, last night did not. We ended Almost, up about though. twelve thousand total, yeah. uh, just shy of, I think, but. So we had a decent crowd last night, actually a really good crowd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, the first match I went to, there was probably like five or six thousand, and that was still more than I'd ever seen at a, a, a domestic soccer match or football match. Or How many people in the Timbers Army again? Oh God, I couldn't even begin it's to a think. Lot. But we take up four or five sections now. I mean, yeah. We went from being. You asked earlier before we were on the air about the 107. Mm-hmm. What's 107? 107 yeah, is the section the that Timbers Army started uh, in. So all the scarves say 107. Yeah. And then they also, they also say normal. CVII on them, which is 107 in the Roman numerals. I think it's oh, on the okay. other side, yeah. You can just show the camera. And let me see your scarf real quick. I'm curious to oh. see. Okay, no. So they used to have a thing on here. Now it, it used says to say, CTFC. Used to say uh, CR right here. The original name of the Timbers Army was the Cascade Rangers, but they oh, changed CVI, that. Oh, CVII, right there. There it is. But Where yeah, did the, it go? It's turned around. Yeah, there it is, CVII. They're different on both sides. I don't know which. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. That's our pretty scarf. That's really nice. Very this nice. Is my I love our scarves. Scarf. They're great. I was uh, very something happy. like 5,000 It was very of them warm now. outside. When when we had Sean on the show, he said, five, well, actually, I said 5,000. He said, yes, it is 5,000, mm-hmm. which is why I have the scarf. It is 5,000, or uh, we've got to be getting further along now than next. We've yeah. had orders in. So mm-hmm. we're just growing at an incredible rate. It's amazing. And the. Uh, Proceeds go to charity, I believe. Right? Uh, it's, uh, some of them go to our TIFO displays, which are the big flag-waving displays yeah, that we yeah, do, yeah. or the, the animated TIFO that we did for Seattle, and or when we were playing against mm-hmm. Seattle. Uh, and then others we will donate to charity, like Dorn Becker is something Dorn Becker done. is a fantastic yeah. place for the funds Dorn to go. Becker Dorn Becker Children's, Children's Hospital. Hospital. I used to go there uh, on Halloween and have the kids go trick-or-treating. It's a good place. Uh, 
So we should anyway, do a, a strange up live after hours there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no. kids. <laughs> no. Anybody want a shouldn't. martini? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's not even funny, Dr. Normal. I'm sorry. Well, it, all right. It, that was... Hey. Oh, I, I, I'm funny. sorry. Like, Party no. I mean, I'm not making fun of Doran Vickers. So they do great work there. No, they do. And so... They just yeah. make lousy martinis. They do. It's true. It's <laughs> well, it's a hospital. You can't get a martini I don't know if you can first. get a good <laughs> martini in <laughs> oh, a hospital. That was funny. Who needs, That's my guy. martini when morphine is readily available. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. So back to the uh, soccer. Uh, why, Are you excited why, about the uh, Major League Soccer? Over the moon. Absolutely yeah. over the moon. It's going through watching all of those city council meetings and then just constantly reading the boards and keeping an eye on what's going on. And just that's all I wanted was MLS because it's, it's mm-hmm. huge for us. It's, it's going to be a massive boost in reputation for the PTFC. It's going to yeah. be uh, more people able to watch, it, more readily available to people that normally would never have seen it. So it's it's going to be good for us. I'm just yeah. excited. I can't wait. 2011 can't get here fast enough. I am just glad that... Do you have your season ticket too? If, yes. If I Portland's going to have another major league sport, it's soccer and not something else. Baseball or football. Uh, I just well, roll my eyes. <laughs> in the original Timbers back in the day... As Dr. Normal, who grew up in Portland, used yeah, to go yeah. see the Timbers play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still, this is mm-hmm. the second guest we've had who's involved with the Timbers Army, and I still have to go no, and get no, no. all my... Re- no, no, no. Third. Third. Okay, third. I... Don't, don't. You oh, forgot about Audrey. Oh, okay. Audrey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But anyway, I still need to go and get all this pile of stuff I have stuffed somewhere. Oh, do you have the, the original, Nassau stuff? The original. All oh, of it. no kidding. All mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. I know where it's. I would love to see that. It's in that room back there somewhere. Somewhere. The scary, scary room. Oh wow! Yeah, you need to break that out. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. The the program from the Pele thing and all that stuff. Oh yeah, sweet man. Yeah, and actually, uh, Ms. D, who lives here in Selwood, who is now VJ fan as well. Um, she. I was sitting next to her during the Timbers game when Doctor Normal kicks underneath the desk. And she goes, she goes. She goes, yeah, I remember watching Pele here, too. I was like, oh, dude, you were here? That was awesome. Pele, you know, bicycle kicks and all that stuff. <laughs> Pele, hello. Hey, everybody. Bicycle kick. See you all later. You know, it was like, bye-bye. It was like, Pele, Pele. This guy was like the biggest thing in the world. Yeah. He was the biggest. He was so big that I even knew who he was. Well, he was yeah. he mm-hmm. he was like in world. I think there was Pele and Muhammad Ali. That was it. I mean, oh, that'd be a horrible the, fight to watch, though. That would yeah. be. Well, Pele bad. would just bicycle kick him backwards and bam, bam, bam. bam. I, I put my money on Pele on that one. I would. <laughs> the rope a dope wouldn't work on Pele, you know? No, no. Pele would be like, what the hell? Get you come over here. You know, I am the Black Pearl, which is what <laughs> Pele means in Portuguese, maybe? I don't know. He's from Brazil. Know, Portuguese. I don't know. We need John Braz. I speak Portuguese. I actually don't know what Pele means. <laughs> It, you I speak Portuguese. Was, we don't I need John Braz. Oh, maybe that was his someone nickname. Someone who speaks Portuguese. It's cool. The Black Pearl. I don't know. Normally, if I need someone That's to speak I Portuguese, I have to call John. Oh. But you normally, know, well, it's not normal that we have someone that time. speaks Portuguese. What the hell is it? You're the second person. Soccer. Oh, all right, fine. Do you really speak Portuguese? Or I you do just really Google? speak. No, I speak Portuguese. Okay. Just Portuguese. Do I just <laughs> Google Portuguese? No, I speak. <laughs> I speak Portuguese. Okay. No. Then that. Then you're the second Portuguese speaking. Uh, guest Who's on the, the show, other? John. Doesn't John speak yeah. Portuguese? Oh, I'm speaking sorry. which is time for music. Oh, is it music time? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, now is the time on Strange Love when we dance. <laughs> yes, exactly. We make party, but you have to actually talk for a minute because I oh. do cue it up. Oh, are we gonna have drink music? Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's make polite conversation <laughs> because we're gonna have drink music before I move to issue four. Oh, god, oh, I okay. suck at this. I'm honest. I'm an honest podcaster. That's the nice thing about being a podcaster as opposed to being a television personality is I can be true. honest. I can be like, oh, I'm stalling. This is true. So this is me. <laughs> like we do all stalling. the time. You oh. know, I noticed that if I, he, he's got the camera on them, but I noticed earlier for the first time, because I normally don't wear my hair back, that if I turn my head, you can see the, uh, the oh, look, see, my hair is never back on okay. the Okay, you don't have to so stall anymore. The music's that I playing. I could see my top two piercings on Yo, my hair. dude. Yeah, but I had to finish the thought, Dr. Norman. Actually, you didn't. I did. I'm sorry, baby. I you did. were stalling. Thanks for that team You're effort. Welcome. But Okay. Drink time. Who wants Dr. Normal? You start. 
Oh, yeah, okay, because the camera's on me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, having a little neat uh, Oban scotch. Thank you very much. So there you go. It's just kind of like what I do. Okay. Well done. Yay, baby. Good morning, Portland. Is I'm it? sorry. That's He's going to kill me when he hears this. First of all, anyway. um, and shout it's out not to, morning. I know. But I should say, shout out to PDX Sucks, PDXSucks.com, 8 a.m. in the morning, Monday through Friday. Um, it's a good That's show. Really Check early. it out. I like to listen to it when it's not live because I don't like to be awake at 8. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PDX Sucks is amazing. Yeah, it's a good show. Great. Okay. They give us so much support, too. The TA. Well, he's he's yeah. a big he's, timber Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's amazing. I love yeah. him to death. He's great. Yeah. Is it my turn to talk about what I'm drinking? Yes. Oh, I'm having a dirty dry Bombay Martini. In my oh wait wait no I have something special look. Ooh. This is my pretty new Betsy glass. It's forever going to be called the Betsy glass because Betsy gave it to me. Josh has Mexican Coke. I, I oh, came geez. in and and I was <laughs> just... I was offered Mexican Coke. No. <laughs> <laughs> they treat us well. I, I'm normally kind of a you know I know straight laced kind of guy, but who can turn down Mexican it Coke? It doesn't sound right. I it? know that's why I like to say it. It hey, come on. They happy. sell it at Costco on pallets. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And we're getting and, everyone hooked on it. We're totally getting was... everyone hooked on it. It's awesome. And here, first taste free. And here I thought people were having, you know, had to yeah. go to lengths to bring No wonder they buy those pallets and pallets of toilet paper, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're all drinking Mexican Coke. You've got to put the, you have to smuggle the Mexican Coke yeah. out. You've got to put the toilet paper down two. and then the Mexican it's Coke a, and then toilet paper it's on a top. Coca-Cola product. It's soda. Which, uh, hang on, I let me check this. Um, Can you check the sponsor list? Sponsor list. I don't have it in front of me. I don't believe Coca Cola is mm. on the sponsor list. Maybe you so. It's start, a, a, maybe a popular cola product <laughs> um, made in Mexico, which they may make with pure cane Is Mexico sugar a sponsor of corn. the show? Is corn is I don't sugar know. a sponsor? <laughs> I don't think Mexico I don't know. is. What about high fructose corn syrup? Oh no. no, no, they are not. Because I'm okay. not allowed to have high fructose corn okay. syrup. Yeah, that's so. why we have the pure that's why cane you have the, the Mexican sugar. Coke. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's good for you. Good, good stuff. Good sugar. Our, our six-year-old asked us today. Um, Rachel was drinking a diet coke. He's like, "What's that?" And just had a sip. And, Is it good for you? <laughs> and we're like, "What do we say?" Well, no. no, but it tastes good, so we drink it anyway. I tried to explain that to Kay. It's a treat, like it's a cookie. It's in moderation. Yeah. Yeah, I try that. No. And now she's old enough to say I the first time I gave my child a sip of Coke, I thought that she would not like it. I thought maybe it's an acquired taste. She won't like it. Oh no. 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 Oh no. Oh, it's kidding? immediate. The love of Coke yeah, is like it's like oh, yeah, it's like it's like bees. They're like, Oh my gosh, that is the best thing yeah, ever. She's so picky. She's very finicky. So So, is, so Oh is she was Kay, like yeah. chugging that thing, I had to take it away from her. Yeah. It's disturbing. And now, now our seven year old goes, Can I have some Mexican Coke? And that's <laughs> even more disturbing because she's like, gonna say that at school one day. Oh yeah, I know, it's gonna be bad. That's gonna be a fun story. My mom loves me have Mexican Coke. Look, I have Mexican that's, Coke in my lunchbox. This is wrong. I brought some Mexican Coke for lunch. What about you? <laughs> and of course, you know what they used to put in Coca-Cola oh, yeah. back when they That's first started. That's why they call it Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. baby. Ay. All right, what's Jerry drinking? Um, Octane, I believe is what it was called. <laughs> Stop by the Chevron on the way over. <laughs> you can drink it or put it on your body and... as a man. It's Octane. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. Uh, I think that's what it is. is that right, Doc? It, it's in I your think liquor so, cabinet. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a, uh, a bourbon and a. Uh, a uh, man's cologne. It's, it's called it's Octane. Octane. I could probably run my car on this. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it's, it's, it lives up to its name. Fantastic. It's very it's gassy. Some, something local, I think. Are we something done bur- with yeah, drink I think music? We are. Oh, thank God. Because I could move on to issue four. Oh, yes, please do. Are we ready? Everyone's waiting. They know I'm going to bring it are up. Are you doing issue four? Issue four. Issue four! Just a, a quick interjection. Um, yes. Pretty sure Pele doesn't mean Black Pearl. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, uh, well, I know I know what the word means. It with slightly different accent. What is it? Mm-hmm. It means skin, but that's okay. not his. His name is accented differently. It's just it's just a name. Okay. Huh. Okay. And a pretty popular one at that. I, I you know I, I, I might be wrong. Made it, so. it may yeah. that may have been his nickname. Yeah, I, I wasn't one hundred percent confident yeah. in my Portuguese I that uh, I, I didn't know. have to back it up with Google. But yeah, 
I thought okay. that's what they said his nickname Black was. Black Pearl, I can I very know. easily see that being a nickname. But which... The Black Pearl's the name of a ship on a pirate movie. Well, they're Just very saying. rare, right? That's the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the... Pretty when he doesn't stink like a pirate. That's the Johnny Depp clause of Godwin's Law. As soon as you invoke Johnny Depp, you automatically lose the argument. I lose the argument? <laughs> yes. Because I I'm said sorry. Johnny Depp... I can't stand Johnny Depp, that's why... Yeah, well, he stinks like a pirate. Well, b- b- <laughs> among many other reasons. Issue four. Issue four. <laughs> Sorry. Orange shoes. Uh oh. Read the helmet cam. No, I the color won't work. Oh wait, no. Let's try. We can try. It might I, be the only I can, thing we that can works. just say they're orange. No, I want to see if they show up orange on the helmet cam or not. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> those are gray. <laughs> okay. Here, put it. Uh, it's it's. You can see it's him exciting on the, watching that you thing fall what? over. You can see off. him on the take wide off. shot. Look. So there we go. Orange shoes. So here's the thing. Take I, a shoe off. Throw. Put. Uh, throw no. It. I'm not taking my shoes off. <laughs> no. The only person who gets to take their shoes off and throw them on the show is me. Oh, that's right. That's the rule. And I'm not throwing these boots. Cue it, the sound I effect. Them. So anyway, I think that I need to talk about the fact that my issue with your orange Crocs. Was never the orangeness of them. I'm glad to hear that. I was nervous it was coming the on the show. It was the crockness of them because I love, I I and love Converse. The truth be known, for me, it was always more about the orange than the Crocs as well. Because you are an RSS. They so I would wear the orange Crocs with white, and it doesn't make sense to do it anymore. But I used to tell people that they were my RSS evangelism shoes because mm-hmm. they were white and orange and. People would say, what's RSS? And I would say, I'm glad you asked. So for the one person listening who doesn't know what RSS stands for, please tell them. Really simple syndication. Feeds. When someone first told me that, I believed that they were mocking me. (laughs) Really simple syndication. Dave Weiner would be crushed. Really simple syndication. It doesn't sound like something like terribly techie, right? Oh, that's okay. But I, I could quiz Josh. What else does it stand for? Can you think of another techie? Do you know? I'm not sure to which one you're referring. Microsoft? <laughs> Receive side <laughs> scaling. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, sorry. You know that no, one? I, there. That, I was actually sorry, thinking. Geeky. Technological for me. Well, I was, at, we were, I was at Gnome Dex a couple weeks ago. Which really we bums me out because it's like, it's RSS. It's everyone knows what RSS is. And then it's like. Oh yeah, we we talk about RSS you're, too, and it's perceived side scaling. Your, your network nerd is showing. I know, yeah, I know. Sorry, his network nerd is really big. I know. I don't need to know this about Dr. Orwell. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and I'm sorry. No, the the other thing I was thinking That's about, I was overheard. at Nomdex a couple weeks ago, <laughs> and uh, there was yeah, a re- we talk a reform about that. That's spammer. Issue five. There was a reformed, a reformed spammer. Gave, he, he, he talked to us. I don't and, really think you can be reformed. Well, he, he now he's an SEO expert, and I would argue that there's very little uh, difference in a semantic <laughs> being an SEO you know expert than a spammer. Thing that you weren't going to say so that I didn't kick you? Yeah, I didn't say it. I know you didn't say it. I'm just saying. I'm it. trending close. dangerously close. I but know. the reason I'm saying RSS, SEO expert. you asked me what the other thing was that it stands for, and uh, he said that it stands for really simple stealing. Because that's what spammers love to use to create spam sites. They take your feed and your content, and so he's not who really a, a reform spammer. He just uses no, the, he his used spam to do that. background to make money. Now, what he did is he showed um, his, his he's oil man on Twitter. He's, his name is Todd Friesen. He was mm-hmm. very open about what he did and and was brave, I think, to show up at that crowd because Numdex is ruthless. Um, but uh, yeah, and his very last slide was a picture of his nice house mm-hmm. and said, you know, this is what. Your, this is what the spam got me. This is what I got of it. And somebody from the audience yelled, you're nice. welcome. And everyone was like, oh, burn. And then he yelled right back, hey, I didn't make any money unless you bought the pills. <laughs> Which was wow. funny. a good comeback. But yeah. that didn't I, seem I to I'll... go over as well here as it did at Gnome Dex. So <laughs> no, I, issue, there issue there lot, four. There were a lot more people at Gnome Dex. Have some more Mexican <laughs> coke, Josh. Eat some more <laughs> Mexican <laughs> coke. Orange shoes. <laughs> okay. So why did you feel the need to point, evangelize RSS? Because, uh, there, okay, a couple of reasons. You thought I was just going to be all like orange shoes. You didn't think no, I was going to No, I thought you were going to riff more on the bad spammer. 
thing. No, that I brought that up. Sorry. That yeah, was no, a it's okay. Non, no, it's it's a good sequitur. point, though. You made. I don't like. I made a good point. Right? See what happens when you get some coke in me. Spanish yeah. is bad. <laughs> so if you go upstairs and <laughs> get Josh more the coke, tapes. I'll take one. There's more in the bottle. Know. I just can't reach it. Jeez, good lord! Embarrassing contortions. We've gone off the rails. Thank you. Cover the label. They're not on the sponsor list. No. Well, so, Mexico um, and Coke. Exactly. Neither of them. We can't see. There's nothing to see here. And this is it's this exactly. nice <laughs> nice pouring a yeah, good the head on that. No, that's too. the Mexi- Damn, that's the colors of the Mexico Mexican flag. Either. That's right. Here. Or, well, so isn't that Italian? Italian that is the Italian flag. Yeah, I know, but it's the same colors. It is. It's true. So anyway, and I, you say Pele doesn't mean the black girl <laughs> in Portuguese. <laughs> hmm. We were I, it, having well, a serious yeah, conversation with actual geek content. Would well, you like we can't to have that. Let us continue Wait, this now. Is that was show. Uh, this tech. is after hours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is the talk show. Yeah. All right. Last so, week's after hours was full of content too. I decided I felt the need to evangelize RSS because it was really cool. Mm-hmm. When did you do that? When did you? Oh, this feel that we're need? talking like two thousand three, two thousand four, yeah, in the early days before more before people knew what it was. I have a more important question, Rachel. How did you feel when he started wearing orange Crocs all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were obnoxious. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Josh has always he has always gravitated towards some. I've always liked quirky, Brightly colorful shoes. Brightly colored shoes. Mm-hmm. He's got Nikes that are like black, bright blue and orange, and he's always gravitated gravitated to that. I don't. I, don't I have with no. It. But the Crocs, I just thought were just the style of them were kind of ugly. You know what? Here's now the she thing. tells me. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. As a chicken farmer, I find Crocs acceptable because you have to get up really early in the morning and do things with the chickens, and getting the Crocs on to go deal with the no, chickens. No, we have we have an iPhone app for that. <laughs> We wish. Yeah. We, we so, will. I'm going to build yeah. an iPhone controlled chicken door. All right. Well, let's finish. Okay. Issue okay. So four, the shoes. I have issue five. Oh, so the, the shoes, no, 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 I want to say one more thing about the yes. shoes. I wore them because I know they're ugly. I have no fashion sense. Everyone knows that. It's immediately apparent upon meeting me or looking at me. I have no fashion sense, so I didn't care. And I thought I'm going to do something I wear black, memorable. I wear a black shirt with brown pants. Well, I'm not saying this isn't fashionable. <laughs> and who says I didn't have? Who says I didn't have help picking this? Is the other thing. This is my uniform, by the way. Cargo pants and black, mm-hmm. black geeky t-shirts. Six pairs of, well, seven pairs of cargo pants and about 15 black t-shirts. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wear. That's, seriously, his closet. Um, so so this you know, this is a change for me. And these actually look more like the RSS symbol. But uh, uh, Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're much more appropriate for the, RSS After the last time I was on the show and the intervention you staged, <laughs> showing me other footwear options. It took I, me an hour to put all those shoes away. I'm just telling you. I appreciate that. And it just took me a while to actually move forward with i realized at that point that it was more about the orange than about the crocs i'm proud of and you. it just took me long it took me this long to find something suitable i'm very proud to of replace you. them i'm so. very proud of you I, I i considered wearing my converse tonight i very seriously that's considered boring. it however i didn't because yeah. they didn't go with my dress that's understandable yeah and that's something that's alien to me is things go with things you should care about <laughs> See, do you see what I mean? I wasn't I kidding when I said I have no I fashion sense. It's okay. I can't, you know, I get to I need, dress him when we go to a party. help me. When we go to a party. It's okay. Just let her dress you when you go to a party, and it's okay. Well, the problem is I need I need. When you go to work, or, it doesn't matter. I let him dress himself when he goes to work. Yeah, at work, it doesn't matter. I'm, yeah. I am not the worst dressed person at work. No, no, you're not. I have been, <laughs> I have been to your work before. I'm not saying why I've been to that particular company's Let's, uh, location yeah. however i have been to intel before and i have seen people much worse dressed than you yeah yes it doesn't matter no it doesn't matter intel loves them for their brains exactly they have their brains all right issue wait issue five i had issue five and it's flown from my brain it was good too dr Noel, do you know what issue five was was it ignite or did you forget oh, it no, wasn't no no, it wasn't Gnome Dex either. Hmm. Hmm. Gnome Dex, yeah, let's talk Gnome Dex. Well, let's say Gnome issue five was Gnome Dex. I was trying to look for okay. our stream videos, wasn't. and I can't find it. It wasn't, but oh. let's say it was. Oh, well, yeah. How was Gnome Dex? How's, I was just going to say, how's, how's Chris? How's his prostate? How, yeah, how is Chris's <laughs> prostate? You'd have to ask the guy that put him on a headlock, put him in a headlock on stage. Really? Did he jick his prostate? I Last time we talked to Chris, sure he did. He he uh, he he talked to us about his prostate. Did he really? I missed that. Yeah, conversation. really. I'm not joking. 
We, no, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I said, did he really? And, yeah. and just mild, like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, no, we had a long conversation about his prostate. And not about his prostate health, per se, but about the importance of prostate health. It's important. It is important. And then Star Wars and things like that. In, in that order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Of, of importance. I think we tried to talk about Gnome next, but he was more interested in prostate health. Yeah. So. He's distractible that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gnome Dex was, was, no, was, was awesome. Good. Yeah. Gnome Dex is, is my favorite conference. If I go to one conference a year, it's Gnome Dex. I've yeah. been five years running now. It's it's my people. That's all I can say. It's the Mecca. It's I, I gave a lot of thought this year to why it's so great and why I like it so much. Mm-hmm. And it's more about the the people that you meet and the relationships that you forge. Mm-hmm. Um, that sounds, again, really corny. And I won't say the word I said that would get me kicked. Mm-mm. Don't No, I won't. Because it, Gnome Dex is not about that. Just be lucky these are not pointed toe I, and I'm they're still, not steel toe. I'm still so afraid of them. They're boots. They're Doc Martens. They should be. I yeah. am not going to mess with them. Yeah. But uh, it's it's the people that you meet there and it's the it's the big ideas. Chris has an uncanny talent for taking risks and bringing in really big ideas that kind mm-hmm. of expand your brain when you try to wrap around them. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes some of the talks fall flat on their face because he takes the risk and it just doesn't pay off. But other times when he does, it's not... It's not a kind of, you know, this is what you're, you're going to learn something at this conference that you can take back to your business and, you know, apply these five easy steps that you learned from this presenter and do this thing better. It's going to change the way you look at the world. It's going to change the way you approach things. And it's basically that the, if there was a theme, I, I'd have to say for the last couple of years, it's, you know, geeks doing good. He has his own theme. He calls it human circuitry and, mm-hmm. and everything. But it's, it's geeks doing good, big, awesome things. So the way I heard it described best was it's a peek inside of his mind. I would say that's a fair description. Yeah. And that should be a very high compliment to Chris. Yeah. And his prostate. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. We just got all serious there for a minute. We did. He wouldn't want that. Although prostate is serious stuff too. If you haven't had your prostate examined and you're. What does that seem like a LO (laughs) cat? And you're not a woman. Prostate, because... Prostates is serious business. <laughs> um, that's one of my, my favorite hashtags is actually ballet is serious business. But I think I'm going to start a new one. Prostate is serious business. I had for a very long time a picture. I made a, an, an LOL cat of serious cat, if you've seen him. Just Google mm-hmm. serious cat. It's mm-hmm. a cat that looks like like Wilfred Brimley. But oh wait, that's the walrus. The hey, walrus. My, my OBGYN when I was pregnant looked okay. like Wilfred Brimley. Oh dear! If we can talk about yeah, prostate, is. we can talk. Yeah, about no, my that's fair Hawaiian. game, but that's it's. He the, looked like Wilfred Brimley. The juxtaposition of Wilfred Brimley. Okay, it's what was I saying shit. about serious cat? <laughs> anyway, I, I had an LOL cat. Please. I think I may have messed this up. <laughs> I, think, uh, I had an, I had <laughs> made my own image macro cat macro that said, <laughs> "The internet's our serious business. Mm-hmm. We must never forget the." gravity and seriousness of our <laughs> responsibility that we have oh at work. That's what I would tell people. <laughs> it is I just cracked everybody up. That's awesome. I like the serious guy. I know he he um he suffered a tragic <laughs> ripping accident when I was rearranging the furniture in my cube. All right, I'm a little warm. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, just yeah. set it right here. <laughs> It'll just, it'll hang out on I'm, I'm just going to go to you talking um, to Chris Perillo about his prostate. <laughs> oh, yeah, look no, at that. No, you can. There he is, go talking ahead. about his prostate. Yeah. Oh, you're not oh, going to I think he the... paused. Oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, go to Tech Love Live and I love, Google. I love those boots. These prostate. are those boots. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's anyway. good. Anyway. It's like you knew you were going to be talking about Chris Perillo's prostate again. I know. I wear these boots like almost every day. Oh. That's the sad thing. These but they, a... but they are heretofore to be called the prostate boots. Okay, that's <laughs> fair. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no He's way. Hey. hey, it's okay. I don't. If care. you can make me have a complex about my shoes, I can at least try to return the favor. It's yeah, not thank work, you but for okay. that. I mean, much. I should. I have uh, new shoes since, well the, since the shoe intervention. Hey, I should everybody. have brought down the the three I and a half inch snakeskin heels. Ah, uh, there we go. They're not really yeah. made of real snakeskin, but they're impressive. That's too bad. Yeah. I only wear real snakeskin. Yeah, I understand. Me too. I understand. And Crocs. I also wore three and a half inch heels boots. to uh, to Does ignite. Does that surprise you? This is a thing. No. This is the one thing where I say I understand why you wore the comfy, comfy Crocs because I wore three and a half inch they're, shoes. They're extremely comfortable. The night that I 
uh, presented at Ignite? Not a good idea. No. Those... Just saying. Yeah. Just saying, um, Dr. Norman was afraid I was going to trip on my way Seems up like everybody's the stairs. Almost trips over. Yeah, we <laughs> tried, to, oh, no, we tried was, to make it hard. I was graceful and flawless on my way up. It was amazing. It's just the, you know, when I'm not on camera that I'm likely to fall in. And, well, like, I totally biffed it. I was on my way to pick up my daughter from some camp that she did this summer, wearing complete, like, flat shoes, jeans, T-shirt, comfy clothing, walking, walking, safely walking, walking, walking. Bam! <laughs> Fell down. I can't remember which order, but hit my wrist, elbow, head, other, skinned my hands. That sounds like what I did last hit Friday. Hit my <laughs> knee. My glasses, because I'm wearing contacts now, my glasses flew three feet, so I did a Velma crawling around on the ground trying to find my glasses <laughs> so that I can go and pick up my kid. And then I, I get home from the picking up of the child and call Dr. Normal at work and say, I fell down. Went boom. In front of everybody? It, no, I was oh, by myself. Oh, That's okay. the disturbing part. Okay. I'm like all by myself. <laughs> and he's like, do you have a head injury? Are you okay? I had to call him every 45 minutes. To check in, make sure because you Because he was afraid off. that, yeah, he was afraid I had a concussion. You'd go to sleep and not wake up. sleep and not wake up. <laughs> Want to hear a funny story? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I don't know if Tell I can out, I, I don't know if I can outdo the sheer number of injuries that that you view falling on your face. But uh, I think my bruise finally may have gone. I can't see my elbow, but my, my bruise mine may is, be gone. Mine is geeky. Mine is nerd related. I like nerd related tech content injuries. right here. All right, let's go tech content. August twenty eighth, last Friday. August twenty eighth, <laughs> snow leopard launch day. Snow leopard launch snot day. Leopard. Snot leopard. Yes, it has to be snot leopard. That's for the Cougar. chat room. Especially. That's for the mean PDX fans. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Um, I was headed to, uh, to an Ignite meeting downtown, actually, and uh, thought I'd stop by the mall, pick up Snow Leopard, mm -hmm. so I could upgrade my Macs and play with the new Shiny, because I have to have the new Shiny, and shiny. Uh, was leaving the mall, Pioneer Place downtown, mm -hmm. and don't worry, I'm not going to sue them, but uh, this does involve an injury, was walking up the, you know, you walk to up the stairs. To or? To both, actually, okay. and yeah. I don't know which was worse. Okay. So, um, so I got Snow Leopard. The, I mean, the line was like 25 people long, but that was for people buying Macs and iPods and iPhones. Mm -hmm. The Snow Leopard line had like one guy in it ahead of me. So <laughs> it went really fast. I was shocked for that many we people. We probably know the guy. Were buying, I, I could, didn't recognize him, but um, that many people were buying Macs on just some random day. But mm -hmm. I'm leaving them all, walking up the steps to go get on the train. I, I see the train coming and I have to hop on to go meet with uh, Dawn and Todd and the Ignite folks for a planning hi Dawn, meeting. Hi, hi Dawn. Dawn. Hi, Todd. Um, Adam Duvander was there too. So oh, hi, Adam. Shout out to Adam. But um, mostly hi, Dawn. Th they took Todd. very good care of me when I got to Isan in my condition. Um, so anyway, I, I started all of a sudden. No, but let me, <laughs> let me explain. In a delicate condition. I was in a delicate condition. Um, trying to hurry to get to the train, walking fast. <laughs> Thought, oh, I'll take these steps two at a time. And I, I, I don't know that you can blame the Crocs, but... Uh, I blame them. I blame the Crocs for everything. I caught continue. a toe on the stair. I blame the prostate boots. <clears throat> the delicate condition. I do, you wanna, do you want to have a prostate boot to the forehead? No. I just had a mental image I would rather have not had <laughs> about the prostate boots. But <laughs> Now you all do, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dear anyway, Lord. I tripped going Two up the stairs. Time, tripped. Snow leopard injury, and because snow leopard was in my right hand, <laughs> I got mauled by snow leopard. I did. I had a nerd injury getting the latest version of an operating system. <laughs> um, I landed on my hands, but snow leopard was in this hand, and so mm -hmm. my left and arm like yeah, took the brunt. The costs, and it yeah. did, it did crush the box a little bit, but the disc is fine. You'll be happy to know. <laughs> That's good. Um, but I uh, I almost hey that camera's blinking. Uh oh! Is it gonna die? Ooh. It is gonna die. Uh -oh. Uh, it oh, it's dead! Okay. It's dead! Okay, we'll use the other camera. We'll fix that. It was waving at me. Anyway, I you know when you hurt yourself really bad and you like so enter you shock, you, yeah. you feel like you're gonna pass out. You feel like you're gonna throw up. Yes. I was like, so the first thing I did was get up really fast. Actually, the first thing I did was feel my arm to see is this broken. Mm. Second thing I did was get up and look around and just run out the door because I was so embarrassed that somebody saw the, saw the fat <laughs> saw the fat guy face plant for no reason on the stairs. I keep looking at fail blog hoping it'll show up. I know nobody got a picture. I was quick. Mm. 
And then uh, like I made the train. I made the train. You made the train? I did. And then I got on the train. And I was like, please let there be a place for me to sit down because I'm going to pass out and or throw up. Um, was ready to take Snow Leopard out of the Apple Store bag in case I needed to to plurk in it. To bomb, yeah. yeah. Plurk! Oh! I needed to, in case I needed to plurk. That was the proper use of the word plurk, Yes, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to encourage the, that use of it. Thank you. Um. So anyway, yeah, it was fine, and I, I could move it, and everything was all right. But over the course of the afternoon, it stiffened up, and I went to the urgent care and got it checked out. Nothing was broken, but it was sprained and messed up, and mm-hmm. it has hurt me all week. So That sucks. I, I'm very sorry oh, for your I'm trying to, I'm trying to look snow. for sympathy, and the camera is not right, working right. So. No, I'm very sorry for your oh, yeah. snow. No, it is. Okay. Were snow you, cougar related. Let me stick, let me stick with <laughs> snow cougars. <laughs> Tell me more about these snow cougars. Yeah, you've got to go watch Meme PDX, because Rick and I... Oh, wait. No, we've never discussed this on the show. <laughs> Rick Cherosi and I have a new show. A new show? Tell us more. Uh. It's called Meme PDX. And it's brand spanking new. And it's, yeah, it's Rick and I sitting around doing a show. <laughs> I don't know. About memes? About PDX. No, it's not even, It's not about memes or PDX. I don't know why we call it that. You have a talent for naming. I didn't name it. Uh-huh. Did Rick name it? Yes. Okay, Rick named it. It was Rick's fault. That's a great name, Rick. Yeah. I know he's watching. Rick, you did a great job, baby. You're awesome. <laughs> Um, it's a good show, though. I am actually, it's queued up. I'm subscribed to it. I haven't watched the first episode yet, but I am, it's actually downloaded on my computer. I just haven't. No one will it. ever see the first episode. Well, the first one that became available. <laughs> yeah. We didn't push we, the record button. No, we pushed the record button. <laughs> and then Dr. Neural said, let me put it out there. And Rick and I said, no. No, that was one of those. Okay. <laughs> We experienced one of those, too. Oh, yes, yeah. yes you, we did. Did you guys nix the first me. episode? We had one of our show hosts that uh, recorded. <laughs> and I, Of course, that narrows it down, but uh, I, I won't name. One of three. Who, I won't name who it was. It was just their, it was their very first time, and it, it, it was totally understandable. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was a little, it was a little rocky, and they said, can we just not do that one? And what was that? <laughs> I missed it. Cherry's enjoying the meme. Oh, so, yeah, oh, yeah. In the background of the guy oh, yeah, doing yeah. the stuff with the things. and What? Uh, do, you, do you dig that see me with the two shirts I'm dressed as Rick Terosi but I'm a girl <laughs> so I don't necessarily have the right clothing Ricky Terosi yeah Ricky Terosi that's so, right so by the oh, way what God. is a what is a Terosi mint what I Rick said don't whatever you do don't take the Terosi mint we were talking on Twitter Terosi mint I think it means about black drinks. pearl in Hungarian <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh that's Wait, what that's what that Terosi means Hungarian. let me give a call I'm not yeah. quite sure Check what Okay, never mind. I thought that would be a funny joke. But, somebody uh, Google that. <laughs> I'm sure he No, somebody... Me. Rick's in the chat, I bet. Rick, tell us. Enlighten us. Or did I just say something I should not know? Am I supposed to? Yeah, no, no. I'm sure he thinks it's funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> no, really. I love okay. Rick. I, I do think too. He's a great guy. <laughs> Rick is awesome. I I'm no actually... Idea what he's I'm about. actually really... I'm, uh, I'm really surprised. He dies after episode one. <laughs> I'm really two. surprised. We've, we've, oh, we've, we've put out two. Oh. We've done three. Oh, we've put Lord. out two. Oh my God! There's uh, there's like all caps chat coming from someone named Cherosi in the chat. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> Block him! No, what is he saying? We normally well, if there someone does all RSS caps chat way we totally, back when, which was totally. Rich Site Summary. Um, Rick, Rich, what are you Rich saying? Rich from the right. Mojito episode, I brought all the mint. It's super funny. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, what... Cherosi mint. I uh, get it. Mint. Oh, I remember what that. What did you mint. think I said? Mint. I, mint. Oh. Mint. mint. Like he meant Oh, something. like a, okay. No. Okay. Like, and then I heard, mint. and then Trozy I thought means. mint, and I didn't understand, but mint. yeah, no. Yes. There was an episode we did, and he wasn't, he, he was in the, he was, he was over where Rachel is, and I made mojitos, <sighs> and he brought me mint, and I didn't understand, and catnip was referenced. Oh. We've, I think we may have done too many episodes of Strange of Live now because I can't remember <laughs> them all. Too much Mexican Coke, perhaps? Oh. Perhaps. <laughs> what? Oh, gee, no, that's the, we don't support that on this show. We don't, and I've never done that in my... Oh, no, Lord. honestly, I may have done some things, but I've never actually <laughs> snorted anything up my nose because that freaks me out. So I was just being funny. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, Rick will be happy to know I did not fall for any beverage containing Tarosi Mint. No. Because yeah, he hasn't brought me mint in a long time. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. No, it's true. Don't do drugs. Drugs no. are bad. 
That's right. Tracy That's what said, Mr. T uh, used to anyway. say. I pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, was that? Are you Mr. T or Nancy Reagan? No, that was <laughs> Mr. T. Nancy Reagan said, "Just say no." Mr. T said, "Don't do drugs. Stay in school." Wait, wait, wait. I need some Kevin gold Chaos chains. is doing Mr. T. She's doing impressions now. Yeah. She's stepping on your thing, isn't she? Yeah. Wait. You got something to say about it? <laughs> or Mr. T. Mr. Better. T, you said you'd stay in school. I'm pretty the fool. Oh. No. <laughs> Did I max out the mic there? I'm sorry. <laughs> you I maxed out my else. eardrum. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it hurt my throat. I. That was a valiant effort. I shouldn't do impressions though. Like I'm not it. good at them. You like I think it? it was Spencer who once introduced hey, me Dr. to Mr. Normal. T. They just, wanted Hepburn. Just I'm because sorry. you like it when I do impressions doesn't mean I like it. Do it one more time. No. Do it. Do it. Yo. Hello. I'm trying to. What's that thing where you send yourself? I pity the fool. Oh. Okay. I'm all done now. Yeah. Too bad. I, all right. No, seriously, my throat <laughs> hurts. I had to go eat pho today because. My throat hurts, and I'm a sissy right. girl. So did we cover everything tonight? No, I had a really important topic, and I can't remember what it was, and it's kind of disturbing me. Uh, well, then Rachel, do you have show. anything you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> I think... Rachel was nervous about coming. I'm really? glad you came. Not nervous, not, not for any reason, but she just, like, didn't know what to expect. And well, oh, yeah, God, crazy. No. Me Trust and my, me. you know, my nerd people and... I tried to people. calm her down until I would be fine. You know, I actually, I, I have to say, before you go, Dr. Normal, we were yes. discussing, there are some drawbacks to the fact that Dr. Normal and I both do the nerd thing. Like, when there's big conferences, we can't both go That's to the true. big conferences out of town because someone has to stay here and That's hold right. down the home front. But there are some big advantages, um, which, you know, being that we understand the nerd thing and that we go to the nerd thing and we know the same people. And that's very comforting. Yes. Rachel is very supportive and understanding and I mean, adventurous. She's yes. on the Twitter and adventurous and, and patient, mm -hmm. long suffering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patient. Did I mention? I remember those <laughs> unboxing videos. She has been the camera person for my unboxing yeah. videos. You yeah. were the camera person for the unboxing? Jerry, you know? <laughs> she, I, I was no, like, here, hold the, the camera. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Jerry, oh, you're probably a better Jerry than I me. I meant to tell you this, she but I'm going to bring in Jerry. Rachel to do ISN TV. Oh, thank you, God. Oh. <laughs> nice. You'd be in right. bad shape. You'd heard to bring us donuts. Just bring us some chickens mm. or some eggs. Bring us eggs. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, I mean, how are you, you like, complicating your life with the chickens? Now? You think? <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> Rachel has, she's wanted them for a very long time. Um, there are, are there are I pets. Found ha I found having chickens very therapeutic. I, I it's fun. Out, I love going out there in the backyard and letting them free range for a while and just watch them. I never it's ever fun. thought I would say this, but it's fun. I enjoy the chickens. Yeah. Do you guys have other pets? Uh, no. No. Well, I pets. don't think other pets would mix with the chickens. Well, you could have indoor cats and outdoor chickens. We have dog dog next door. It, it, who's a black lab? And Dogs almost, and chickens don't mix. It's almost just torturous to the poor. Cat. He's yeah. tried to dig under the fence in several yeah. places. We had yeah. dogs and chickens, and that was our biggest uh, yeah. challenge. Was when I, when I was dog young, away from the yeah. we we had a dog, a chocolate lab, a bird dog, and we, we moved out to the country. And the house when we you bought were young. Yeah. when I was young, yeah, and uh, we moved out to the country. And the house we bought had a little outbuilding and came with like a dozen chickens. That they just part of the property, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, they lasted for maybe a month or two before mm -hmm. he 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 killed them one by one. Um, just That's playing, just playing with them, just enthusiastic. It's yeah, like, it's not me. This is the most awesome toy ever. Yeah. <laughs> and then it stops working, and he brings it to the house and says, "Will you fix my toy?" Yeah. I can hear him say it in the dog voice, like from the movie <laughs> Up. <laughs> my toy stopped working. Will you fix my toy? Watch out for the raccoons. Tell That's you. true. Yes, we have built Fort Chicken Knox. Fort, yeah. Yeah. So you so guys paid attention to the Ignite presentation? Mm. Oh, yes. That's actually, you know what? Ignite presentations, Sarah Gilbert's presentation at the very first Ignite Portland mm -hmm. at Wyden and Kennedy on, it was something like how raising, why raising chickens will save your life. Mm -hmm. And it was her, it was her very um, poetic delivery her her very dramatic delivery about their experience with urban chickens but that was the first time i i watched her presentation and said people raise chickens in portland you know in this in the city what people well, you do guys this for real? In, you guys aren't in the city limit, 
limits no in we're we're in, in beaverton we're in washington Correct. county still, in technically, portland you can only have three i think yeah there's yeah. there's obey your local laws and regulations we re rachel researched all that and and everything but yeah we we watched selena's presentation on how to kill chickens and <laughs> took, Josh made took me notes watch that actually before we watched it yeah <laughs> yeah good yeah that was a good presentation it was, it was i liked her i liked one of her uh ways to do it was you know leave your husband in charge of putting them away <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I, I haven't killed any of them. So yet. she's gone out of town, and I've been in charge of taking care of the chickens before, and I've been deathly afraid that something would happen. Like, I'd forget to feed them or water them, and they'd die, or something would break in and get them. And mm -hmm. They I, like I, you. you. You go out there and sit on the port, on the deck. They do like me. And Every morning. they like, come up to him. And, and I, all, I like them. calm around him. He talks to him, like, in this calm. The chicken ladies. <laughs> I call Why them. Why do you not talk to Aaron ladies. and Paul like this? <laughs> Maybe I should. I think so. If you talk to Treat people like chickens, they might like it. I will have to try that. You can throw spaghetti at them and watch them fight over it. Like, <laughs> that would be awesome. My chickens like to be talked to calmly. Their names were not uh, as inventive. My chickens were named Hussy and Maud. <laughs> I nice. can't remember. We had a and rooster, then though. there's Maud. <laughs> yeah. I think Dr. Norman wants me to Never end mind. the show. No, I'm just, we need to go take care of the half-headed yeah. cattle that we got out back here huh? at Strange of Live uh, Central. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. um, no, you don't really. Well, no, unless you want me to stop eating cow. I didn't eat chicken for a long time. I ate eggs, but after we had our chickens, I couldn't eat chickens for a long time. I still can't take a whole chicken and cook it. Really? Yeah. No. We I can't. We, we haven't that reached point that point. We understand those of the vegetarian and vegan persuasion, but I don't. I like chicken. I like burgers. Mm. I like. I like steaks. I like bacon. Oh yes, yeah, I like bacon. <laughs> He's, he's How do we not reference legs. bacon at least once so far? All right. Godwin's, wow. Godwin's Law, the Bacon Clause, has applied. Mm, bacon. You know, I was talking with um, uh, Kelly Verso earlier today, and I think pie is becoming the new bacon in Portland. It's it's <laughs> rising. Yeah. It's, it's stars rising. All right. I, uh, I keep the chickens in line by threatening to turn them into nuggets. Mm. That's how I sternly shake my finger. You will at them. be a nugget soon. Mm, chicken. They like me. They every morning I walk out the front door and leave for work, and I hear them. They they talk to me. They say goodbye. You will all be nice nuggets someday. Yeah. With that, not all with chickens. That, will we're going to keep you and eat the things that come out of your butt. <laughs> It comes I, I out was, of their butt? Wait a minute, not you're not doing butt. it right. It's not their butt. Wait, what? <laughs> what? No. What kind of no, chickens are you raising over the there? It's the egg hatch. The egg hatch. <laughs> That's what oh I call it. God. It's the egg hatch. The egg hole. I On that no note, clearly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. That's why I call it the egg hatch. Oh, don't I got to get on Wikipedia. All right, he's oh, going to Google it, but while he's Googling or wicking or whatever it is that he's doing, I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. I don't know which camera. Oh. Poor tape. Oh my god, the lava lamp almost spit it. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next week. Oh, I'm looking at, I don't know where It's I'm... this one. Hey, number it's, three, it's number invisible. three. I've been staring at the monitor all night. I'm, I know, I have I'm, too. It's fascinating. Camera yeah, number three. I'm perplexed by Thanks night, for having everybody. us. Next week, Media Chick, think, Megan you know, Tate, Miracle in July. No, not to. Say good night to <laughs> the know, boys. Good night, boys. It's mesmerizing. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, it's been a lovely evening. Look, we've got a credit ruling. Dr. Norwell is really unhappy with us right now. Or maybe me. He's, he's going to cut us off.